Sudan's President Omar Hussein al-Bashir is expected to announce a new government which will include opposition party members. The Government of National Accord will see the involvement of main opposition leaders and different groups in Sudan. In an exclusive interview with CGTN's Groom Chala, State Minister of Sudanese Foreign Affairs Minister Kamal Ismail expressed optimism in the newly formed government. After the last elections in 2010, the president decided to open up to uh, incorporate others in the system. And, uh, so we uh, the, have initiated an initiative to ask the other parties, the other parties, the political groups, to come in and participate in a so-called a national dialogue, where they can air all their concerns and their uh, ideas. And basically, it discuss the issue of the economic situation, uh, diplomatic relations and international relations of Sudan, as well as the socio-economic formation of the society. So they have discussed this thoroughly through different groups and societies. There was a social dialogue, there was a political dialogue, and then they end up with the final recommendations and they gave it to the president. That uh, recommendations, stated that the government should open up, people should participate effectively, and the, and the president offered that all those who participate in this dialogue will be part and parcel of the government. Mr. Minister, many in Sudan and outside of Sudan believe that the, the, now that uh, government of national accord is going to be formed very soon, it's going to also contribute in pacifying Sudan and the three in particular areas of Darfur, South Kordofan, and Blue Nile. Do you share the same thought? Yes. This move, as a matter of fact, has, uh, has pacified uh, several rebel groups. And as a matter of fact, in Darfur, almost now it is peaceful now. Most of them choose to come to uh, the dialogue. And they said, we cannot develop this country through conflict and through the guns. It is only the dialogue that is uh, suitable to create some sort of uh, development uh, for the country as a whole. So we manage, or the government manage, at least to specify any rebel movements in Darfur. Now it is peaceful, the, the development process is going very fast. Referring to the other two areas in the Blue Nile, and uh, also the government exer exerting maximum efforts in order to incorporate them in the system so people will be involved in the government according to their number and percentage of the population. This whether in uh, South Kurdufan or in uh, Blue Nile. And, uh, and most of the uh, people and organizations in those areas now come up and participate. We end up with a very small group in, uh, in the mountain, uh, mountain area, in Nuba Mountain, and they still uh, reluctant to join the dialogue, but we leave the door open until for them to come because it's not the gun that will bring the solution, it is the dialogue that will really create the peace in the area.